Do you want to learn Johnny and do stuff like this? You're locked in here with me. Stamina glitch. That's a big fucking owl. Cheap. Wait, what? Infinite stamina glitch. Hmm? Right, right, right. Yeah, Anna's in red room. I'll just, I'll just keep Julia if you guys want to focus on her. I got Anna. Stamina glitch. That's a big fucking owl. Huh? If you guys want to see some more Johnny content, don't forget to hit subscribe and let's reach this video 500 likes. You already know the drill. I will give you another one. I've been doing some testing for so long as Johnny. I think I have almost like 30 hours on him. I felt like he was the weakest out of the rest of the family, but then I end up finding out that he's one of the most dangerous to put savagery points on. My plans initially was to showcase three games of the three abilities that he has on the top tree. On the far left, he has the analyze clue faster. And then this one, he has the footprint freshness and then increase trail range. Now, after doing some testing, I'm only gonna show two of them that are valuable. This one right here, do not do it. The reason why is because the warning is so bad because it says increases the range of footprint trails by 100%. So my thought was that, okay, so this means that once I track them, the trails will never end. If you look closely, there's this thing that happens with Johnny. When you find a footprint, it just disappears. Now, everybody has their reasons why it happens. Oh, because it's Julie, oh, because of this. I think it's because of two things. One, it's bugged, and two, you're out of the range of how far they are. So you can find somebody's footprints at, let's just say, the front of the door of the house and then they're already at the back of the battery. Sometimes it'll be there and then you waste all this time, you know, scanning it or whatever, and then it just disappears. So that's what I thought this countered it by just showing you 100% range of, doesn't matter how far they are, you're gonna still track them. But all this means of the distance of how far you find a footprint. So this is a terrible one. Do not run it. My most favored one is the clues faster because what you'll be able to do is to keep in chase combining this with scout is insane because you are literally losing zero distance my second favorite is the footprint freshness now there is a downside to this if the map is very bright like say for instance on slaughterhouse and it's very vibrant with colors and green and yellows and blues and reds you might get lost in this but i feel like this is really good at nighttime because it just pops out even more and as for build wise i'm mostly going to be rocking on my shotgun build if you want to know more information about that it's going to be in the description i did a youtube video talking about it and why it's a really strong build right now but yeah let's get into today's video so no live commentary on this game but the second game will be live commentary from the stream but usually what I like to do on Johnny on Family House is usually try to barricade the doors and get them out as fast as possible. This helps out Leatherface, also helps out Cook, and it just gives me time to do something. Now, in my opinion, Johnny is okay on Family House. You really need a Cook. Hitchhiker could be kind of rough, especially because they just unlock everything. But if you just stay by the front door and the back room, you can make things happen. Now, I know Johnny's like to go in the basement because I'm guilty of it as well. But sometimes I think it's better just to get these doors out of the way because the moment you go down, there might be one just coming up from some area. So that's what I like to do on this map usually.
Jason, I wouldn't have to do this. So if you don't know what the colors mean, uh, dark blue means you're cold. Um, I think it goes to purple next, which means like you're kind of on the right direction. Pink means you're getting really hot. And then there's like hot pink. That means like you're up on them. So that's just basic what this means. Is this a good information for you? I think it's okay because it can tell you that if you want to drop a chase, you could drop it because if it's just nothing but blue, then obviously you can't really like get any idea where they're at. But if, if I notice it's pink, that means like they're around the corner. Bubbles outside chasing them. Person who ran the window right now. How the hell did those kids find us? I should have been more careful. Another small tip, obviously, if you find them right away, turn off your ability because you're going to be wasting charges like that. Sometimes I forget. Another thing that a lot of people don't know, the colors get more vibrant. This also applies to cook uh, whenever you use your ability. I don't wait. Is that the only one? Yeah, that's the only two that I could think of to have like kind of like a focus ability, whatever. In this situation, there's not much I could do against this Ana. Most bad victim players, they just stay in one spot and... I honestly hope they make something where like you just can't stay in one spot and be an infinite and I understand what can she do I don't know there's a table in the back there's a ladder right there she has stamina that she can use she's on it for cried sakes you know but what do you mean there's stuff that victims can do but they go for the the cheese route of just staying in the infinite area but yeah there's nothing much you could do just so what i end up doing is just leaving this and just i'm like where's she gonna go it's the back you know side garden whatever she can't go anywhere so i just end up just leaving So my final thought is that if you want to run this, I would honestly only run it if you like the colors. I still prefer the next one, which you're going to be seeing. Quick research. Oh, I don't know. Quick analyze, whatever it's called. But yeah, I think this this one offers a lot. If you just are not a fan of yellow or you like the way it looks at night, then that's the only thing I can see this being valuable in my opinion. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. This is the correct pathing path to go as Johnny. What I'm doing. Because if you can get rid of these two crawl spaces at the beginning of the game, it's it's fucking a win. And then you go right here in the middle. Mm-hmm. And booyah. Because if you think about it, right? Look at my pathing. 
by the time I get right here, they should wake up grandpa. And then I can rush the holding pin, which everybody usually goes to. And if you have time, oh, okay, so that one's close. So it looks like he either stalled or got stunned. Let's see. Okay. Now I'm not gonna actually do that one. Wait, is it this one open? No. The reason why I'm not doing that is because I'm gonna go to Grandpa Shack. So Connie has two something. So Connie is coming out from Grandpa Shack. Cook. She's going to the side door. Get my stamina back. Cook, you here? Look, you're gonna want this end fast. Trust me on that. It's too <laughs> there you are. All right. We're gonna go down there. I can't catch her because she has like really high endurance. I'll find you. But eventually I will catch her. Connie's back here. Uh back room. She's gonna go through the wall crack, Leatherface. Yeah, Leatherface, if you come back here, Connie's dead. She's in a wall crack right here. And Leland. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. There's two still down here. Yeah, there's two. What? Why did you leave the crack? She's leaving. Oh my goodness, dude. I don't get it, dude. Like, just stay one area. I go the other. Area, we we trap them. I don't get it. It's not that difficult. So she went out the same way. Hmm. She go this way. Ain't no tracks here. See Sunny. We're gonna push him off to the right. You just go to the wall crack. And how much you can do? How much you can do? Let's see where you scurried off. So we need to go back up top. Go ahead and hide. It ain't gonna matter. Oh shit, I, I didn't even know I was out. What the f what hello? Oh what just happened? I just I super speed. I'm I'm the flash! I'm not sure what happened, Chad. Don't ask me. I'm not sure what happened. Also, just a heads up. Keep an eye on your stamina whenever you're tracking because it will cancel it. It will cancel it. Oh, they just opened this one. This is pointless, you know. Quit stalling. He's in the shack. He's in the shack right here. He uses ability on me. Man did his ability and it just ran. Close this. Oh, you caught me cheating, chat? Chat, you, you got me. Chat, you got me. I'm gonna check if what's your name was here. Okay. Oh, there she is. There's that bitch. 
go this way instead. Three hits. Three hits. I'm saying if you catch a Connie or a Sunny, it's three hits every time with this build. Dedge. And I think I heard him go down here. It's one. He's going to be in red room, Sunny. Two hits. <laughs> Shotgun Johnny. You should have never came here looking for that girl. <laughs> You'll never find me. This build's all about being patient. I know you're gonna miss playing with scout but just switch out scout for fire up and it's just better in the long run oh there he is how do i know he was in here just tracking i should have closed the door honestly that's fine Oh, he went in the freezer. <laughs> GD. Four kills Johnny. Shotgun Johnny. Shotgun Johnny. Back up. Back up from your mic, it stinks. That's your upper lip talking to. That's that's your upper lip, you bitch. Remember how I said I had any footage of that terrible level three analyze? Yeah, this is it. So I went mayhem and you'll see why. But honestly, I didn't even need this tracking. Now, if you understand the maps well, you honestly don't need this tracking. The only time you do need this tracking is if you just can't really seem to find that last victim most cases what i use johnny's ability for is at doors gates that's like the only time i've ever used it sure you can use it to like track somebody if you lost them after a couple hits which happens at time but i personally don't really need it and you'll see in this game Hey, yo, what are you doing, Step Bro? Honestly, I didn't know what was going on. And yeah, uh, I saved the, the full screenshot of that on my Twitter, which, if you're not following me, uh, you should.
Barry exit, Connie. I never came here looking for that girl. So the first watch the battery. I found Colin, she's got a generator. She's in the best one. She went down the well. She's headed for the generator exit. She's had a generator with me. Thanks again for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. It means the world to me. Honestly, I want to hear some feedback from you guys. Do you like full commentary? Do you like no commentary? Do you like half and half? I'm open for suggestions. Like I like doing three versions, like one from the stream, one for like a live commentary review type of thing. And then one with no commentary, just for people that, you know, might not want to hear my voice. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm open to opinions. But if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up and subscribe. And again, leave your comments down below. 
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.